Hello, my name is Jenna Eberle and I'm a junior here at Cal U. The name of my presentation is Multiculturalism in the Criminal Justice System. I'm a criminal justice major and have always been aware of how prevalent multiculturalism is in the criminal justice field. Because of this, I decided to do more research because I realized how important it is to be well educated when it comes to these matters. My goal is to provide facts and knowledge on these important issues within the criminal justice system that I've learned throughout my time researching this matter. In this setting, multiculturalism is referred to as the joining of different cultures together as a nation in a specific spatial context, or rather to the concurrence of common cognitive elements regarding their understanding of their environment, morality, religion, laws, and society connected by a common language. Some of the main areas that are within multiculturalism that need to be focused on are social class, race, ethnicity, and religion. All of these areas are greatly affected due to the lack of knowledge and diversity of professionals within the field. Social class plays a huge role in how one is treated in the criminal justice system. The criminal justice system focuses on the crimes of the lower income classes. Meanwhile, far greater harm is done by white collar and corporate criminals. This is because many associate crimes of lower income people as street crimes. Street crimes such as burglary, auto theft, drug dealing, and more are seen as much more of a real crime and threat as compared to white collar crimes. That is why most of the system focuses on these crimes. This can be, easily, this can see, be seen easily by just paying attention to the news. You will rarely hear about someone being incarcerated for a white collar crime in comparison to the amount you see of low income street criminals being incarcerated. This is because offenders of white collar crimes generally end up serving no time in prison and instead pay fines. The image of the poor as a dangerous class is exacerbated in the United States by the intersection of poverty and race. The stigma that people of color are the dangerous class has been an ongoing practice in our society. This idea has only caused fear and repression when which is directed towards people of color. Race is also a big issue in the criminal justice system. The majority of the criminal justice system is white, which means that victims, offenders, and above all professionals are more likely to be white than any other racial group. With that being said, there is a minority overrepresentation in the criminal justice system. As of recent events, we have also seen this in the news very often. For example, we have seen that frequently black and brown men are victims of the criminal justice system through racial profiling, wrongful arrests, and discriminatory sentencing practices. This is also stands true for people of all color. As you can see on my presentation, I have a graph labeled people in state and federal prison by race and ethnicity. These statistics are taken from 2019. This graph helps us see that there is an overrepresentation of people of color that are incarcerated. This is because, as mentioned before, whites make up most of the criminal justice system, and this is the same for offending too. As you can see, Blacks are 33% of prison's population. As mentioned earlier, the professionals in the criminal justice system are also predominantly whites. This is related to an extensive history of racial profiling in hiring practices and discrimination due to most of the criminal justice system professionals being predominantly white. This can then in turn cause issues because most incarcerated inmates are those of color. It is important to note that religion and ethnicity are deeply connected. Since religion and ethnicity coexist, it should not be surprised that they are also not handled properly in the criminal justice system. A good example of this is how Native Americans are treated while in the system. This is because most people are unaware of their culture and in turn discriminate against them. For example, Native American inmates in some correctional institutions are still being denied access to spiritual counseling and ceremonies and culturally sensitive drug and alcohol abuse treatment programs. These are areas that can be very important to one and their ethnicity and religious beliefs. One should not be allowed to be denied access for a religion that lies so deeply into their culture of who they are. 
In conclusion, there are many reasons why it is important to be aware of multiculturalism as a human in society and especially for those who work in the criminal justice system. It is easy to see that the lack of knowledge caused by discrimination and unjust differences in treatment within the system as compared to the majority of whites. In order to reduce the lack of multiculturalism understanding within personnel in the field, training programs and awareness certifications should be required. Since the recent racial justice movements, the criminal justice system has been making an effort in trying to combat the repression caused by diversity. That is the end of my presentation. I hope that you've learned something that can resonate with you and help you better understand multiculturalism as a whole. Thank you.